Provincetown is a way of life. People come here and once they're really connected, it's an interconnection among all. Whether somebody is an established artist or writer or whether they're just beginning, it's a nurturing and welcoming community. And the light, it's this incredible light. It's, it's like the light of the Mediterranean. It's absolutely wonderful. I consider Provincetown my hometown, really. Though I didn't come here until I was 19, I kind of feel like I was adopted by the town and grew up here. I think it's such a unique community because of the layers that this town has. It's a very interesting community. People know that this is a place where this rich history lives and is still evolving. I think that the artists who are committed to staying here and making it work can do it. Everybody around us were artists and writers and they walked up and down Commercial Street and Hoffman was here and Knotts was here and hundreds of them up and down the streets, very beachcomber-ish in those days. So the enthusiasm and the talent and the excitement is right here. It's a very close community with all the opposites occurring. It's a very exciting, highly unusual environment. There is an energy here, and it's almost like the inspiration of the light is the inspiration that comes then from each one of us. It's very special. In 1918, the Art Association purchased this building. Originally, this building was an 1820s captain's house. They were a museum before they even knew it because they were showing art, they were collecting art, they needed a place to actually house and exhibit the art. I don't, can't imagine another place where you would want to come to take a class and study with artists in Provincetown, because it's not only got the history, but the, the geography and the landscape are still like no other place. That's really what drew me here, is that there's so many layers. It's, it's a very interesting community. It feels like it's even getting bigger. I know with our membership here at the Provincetown Art Association and Museum, we started really seeing a big shift since we've had this new building available, and our membership has jumped about three or four hundred in the last few months, and most of those are artists. So we're definitely seeing a trend of more artists know that this is a great place to start or to continue, you know, painting or sculpting or whatever they're doing. It's that community of peers. I mean, we create that here at the Work Center, but it's also the town itself. It tells anybody who has an artistic stripe to, to come and to be part of that community. You can run into any sort of artist writer and they're going to welcome you and have you happy to be here. It really is about supporting artists and you can run into anybody on the street and start talking about your art or their art and they find that to be very supportive. People feel like they're being treated like artists here. The Work Center was created almost 40 years ago and we provide residencies for emerging artists and writers from around the world. Each year 1,500 people apply and we offer them a fellowship in which they're provided with an apartment. Visual artists are also given studios. They all get a $650 a month stipend and nothing is asked except they focus on their poetry, their painting, their photography. It's the largest program of its type in the United States. I think if it weren't for the Fine Arts Work Center, uh, there wouldn't be a hell of a lot of young artists uh, in Provincetown uh, today. I came to Provincetown in 1952 at age 19. I believe that history is very important and that the long history of Provincetown as an art community continues to carry it so that artists are attracted here and it's been very much a community for all those years. I met my husband here. My husband's press came out, came through Cecil Hemley. I introduced my husband to Cecil Hemley. And then we went to New York and ran the Noonday Press for a while until we couldn't afford it anymore. Provincetown has, has really influenced my life enormously. It all started in Provincetown, which is really extraordinary. I'm Berta Walker. My grandparents started to come here from Pittsburgh in 1916. My name is Selena Treve. I came to Provincetown in the 1950s when I was a student studying with Hans Hoffman. I'm Nancy Webb and I'm a sculptor and I first came to Provincetown in 1946 and I've been showing in Provincetown since 1947. 
My name is Chris McCarthy. I'm the executive director of the Provincetown Art Association and Museum and was hired to oversee the expansion and renovation of the, of the building. I'm Bob Henry. I'm an artist. I'm very active in the art scene out here on the Outer Cape. I'm Mike Wright. I'm a sculptor who works with found painted wood. I actually came here when I was a child. My parents drove us through here and I thought, this place is so unique and so interesting. I'm going to come back here when I'm older. My name is Hunter Rohanian and I'm the executive director of the Fine Arts Work Center in Provincetown. There is a tremendous welcoming environment here in Provincetown. For more than 100 years, Provincetown has welcomed all sorts of artists and writers here and it continues to do that today. 